Words Beats and Life, Auction House Beats, The James Dewitt Yancey Foundation, Joe's Record Paradise, Thicker Clouds, Mood Clothing and Design, also, The Real Scene Art, Drum Stacks, and Bad Human Art House, present, The Beat Conductor's Coast to Coast Battle. All right, welcome back to The Beat Conductors. This is the 10-10-2020 Coast to Coast Battle. My name is DJ Olo. Uh, we're happy to be here, man. You know, shout out to everybody who's made it through this summer. COVID, the COVID lockdown has been ridiculous, man. It's been driving me crazy. I'm, I can't wait to get back to the live. Um, we got a dope pound of judges here. Judges, what's up, man? Let's start with the top right, DJ Ron G. What up, what up, what up, y'all? Mix King Ron G in the building. What up, y'all? Respect. Thanks for taking the time to be with us today. Next to you, we got my brother, Sean J. Period. Hey, what's up? It's Sean J. Period. How y'all doing? Peace, Sean. Uh, under you, we got my man, Jay Clyde. What's up, y'all? Virginia's in the building. Peace, respect. Virginia in the house. And then out from the Midwest, man, we got my man, Zach, from Auction House Beats. How you guys doing, representing? Cool, man. Thank you all for being here today. So uh, a couple guys dropped out of this battle. Uh, so we actually have 12 competitors. And the competitors for today's battle are going to be our previous champion, Soundtrack, Phil Real, Cambo Slice, Beneficial, Theory, Soul City, uh, The Fingers, Soultronic, DDOT, Professor, The Beats, DJ Big Smooth, and Kelsey. So it's a heavy lineup, man, real heavy lineup. So let's get right into it, man. Here we go.
sound good, don't it?
right, there you go. Welcome back to the Beat Conductors. Like I said, judges, I'm playing everything at Unity. For anybody who's out there on Instagram Live, Facebook Live, I just want to go back, introduce the judges one more time. Let's start with, uh, let's start over here, man. My man, Tony Smith. Peace, Tony. Peace, peace, peace and blessings, everybody. Tony E, Vintage Vibe Music Group. What James up, Tone, what up, Peace, family, peace. Let people know where you are, where you're at, how they can find you on Instagram. Peace and blessings. This is Tony E, Vintage Vibe Music Group, James and Wick Yancey Foundation, sitting right here across my dukes, as y'all can see back there. Maureen Yancey. Jay, the mother of Jay Dilla. We are here in Agua de Puerto Rico, which is, we've been here for seven years. So if you look us up, just check us out. James DeWitt Yancey Foundation or the Jay Dilla Foundation. Uh, what's up, guys? I'm Zach Redgill. I am the owner, CEO, founder of AuctionHouseBeats.com. Basically, we're the world's first online beat auction house. So for exclusive beats, you go on there. It's basically, the concept is eBay, but for beats. Uh, so we are the world's first. And uh, yeah, we're uh, working to help you seriously stand out. So auctionhousebeats.com. That's our plug. Thank you. That's what's up, man. Sean, tell us about Drumstacks, man. Oh, what haven't I told you about Drumstacks? I'm I'm ready for it at this point, you know, constant, um, just, you know, life, just a lot of things going on with it, uh, to send some final stages, uh, to get the contest going. Um, it'll be drumstacks.com, you know, coming soon. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Just go show up and, you know, it will be there, you know, so drumstacks and you can find me on IG, uh, Sean J period music, uh, Facebook, same, uh, and drumstacks and drumstacks.com. Legendary mixtape DJ Ron G. What up, what up, Ron G? All right, well, you can find me on Instagram at legendary DJ Ron G. You can go to my website at www.legendarydjrong.com. You know, I you know I produced a lot of platinum records out there from J Lo to Mary J Blige to Trey Songs. I did all kinds of records, and I'm um, also too doing radio. You know, I got a morning show. Shout out to Moonlight, Dita Weeda, um, 6 to 10 a.m. So you can find me on that. You can download the app at 98.1 FM, The Urban Heat. And uh, I'm just, you know, constantly moving. You know, I'm the mixtape legend. I've been doing mixtapes since I was like 16 years old. Um, you know, working with artists like DMX, um, Biggie, Tupac, um, uh, Keres One, Fat Joe. Just so many out there. I'm a part of hip hop history. So... I'm, I'm just glad to be here with you guys and have a good time and just listen to so many inspiring uh, producers that's up and coming doing it big. So you can holler at me um, and I might be learning from y'all because y'all got some heat. Y'all brought the heat today. So I want to say salute. Respect. Thanks for taking the time today too and being with us. Next to you, we got my brother Jay Thanks. Clyde. Yes, sir. You can, uh, I'm always cooking up new joints, trying to land. Some records with your favorite artists and up and coming artists. If there's any, if any any artists watching this, you can uh, and you're looking for production, you can hit me up uh, on Twitter or Instagram at jclyde757. That's what's up, man. And again, my name is DJ Olo. This is the Beat Conductors. This is the 10 10 2020 coast to coast battle. You know what I'm saying? But before we do that, I want to talk to the judges. Judges. Uh, let's start with Sean, man. Just give me some of your highlights of, of round one and give me some of your feedback for people who need. Mm, well, I mean, the one thing I say, and I mean, you and I have uh, been through a lot of battles, and I can actually say this is one of the best lineups uh, that you had. You know what I mean? So it's everyone really, you know, came with, you know, obviously sound, soundtrack starting it out. You know, we love having him in the scene, man. It's like, you know, the... It's his musicality, you know, and obviously being on the different the different coasts and stuff, but just the guys from all over, you know, you, you can tell the influences, man, it's just amazing. So um, I actually really don't have um, a real improvement list. I mean, this particular lineup is, when I heard the names, I was like, wow, this is gonna be great. I, the one thing I can say that I said, like um, Soul City, um, The Beats, the thing I love that a lot of guys are doing now, they actually like, breaking their own goals and just reinventing themselves. You know what I mean? So I, I'm 
I have no criticisms, bro. Like this, this is like top lineup, bro. Um, I think uh, feel real. I think you just need a little bit of improvement. You know, um, so far I've been so far uh, beneficial. He brought some heat. He brought. He really brought the heat. I'm feeling him. So. Really feeling. Him. Yeah, I mean, I, I really agree with uh, with what what Sean was saying that now that we're and we were we were talking a little bit about this before we went live. The uh, you know as we're expanding the field outside of the your know, usual DMV area, it's just getting stronger and stronger. And so, you know, um, this is I don't know. I've, I've done a bunch of these battles now, and um, you know, there's not really too many links here. You know, uh, everybody is kind of in the top range of the of the score so it's going to be it's going to be a definitely an interesting second round when the eliminations start um i will say you know just for everybody the thing that i always say is make sure when you're in a battle situation keep the energy up keep the aggression up um you know i love like uh you know like do i do like like d dot is so dangerous um but it's like he you know d dot the one thing i would say um you know, you're you're you can win it at any moment. Just keep that inner keep the energy up because your musicality is so amazing that it can save any beat. You know what I'm saying? Like you could play like something that you made for your grandma, but it's gonna be amazing because of the way you play keys. So just keep an eye on that. Um, people did a really good job as far as uh, uh, this time around of playing uh, enough music to fill up the set instead of just playing like one beat or two beats. Yeah. I was really pleased to see that because that's been a that's been kind of an issue for some people in the past. Um, and I will say, um, I was really impressed with um, the best set that I heard was from the Beats. Um, I'm not sure if I've seen you before, but I was really impressed. Uh, not to say that yours was even like the highest scoring set of like everyone, but I felt that you put together the best sets. Like the the versatility that you showed was I was really impressed with. With, uh, with like the whole scope of it. So I would say that uh, definitely compared to other battles in the past, I would echo the same sentiment that one of the things in the problems was people would just play like one beat or maybe two beats. So the variety and the way that we changed throughout it, I think is awesome. And I see a progression that's going on throughout each battle. Whereas, you know, the last battle to this one just the competitors all are better. The compositions themselves and the arrangements are improved. And so it's really gonna be a, a much different, much more difficult one to um, judge. To me, the one that really stood out uh, to me, I, I would say I liked uh, the fingers really. Uh, just some of the, the, that and the beats, I would say both of those were up there. The beats I really loved too. The, aggressiveness but then you also had it kind of transition to the chill but then it went to aggressive again and it's just the way that we're moving through the beats i think is going to be the biggest thing that i look for in like transitions and just variety really so good job i would say everyone's doing awesome well for me you know i'm a biased type of person me it doesn't matter until eliminations actually happen so Everybody is good, you know, when we're all not judging, but right now we just wait for eliminations and then we can make a definitive decision. All right, again, my name is DJ Olo, the Beat Conductors. Our judges tonight, man, we've got Sean J. Period. We've got DJ Ron G. We've got J. Clyde. We've got Zach of Auction House Beats. And we have Tony Smith of the James Duet Yancey Foundation. In round two, the competitors are going to go head to head, all right? In round two, there's eliminations. And the matches for round two are going to be The Fingers versus Phil Real, Soultronic versus Soul City, Kelsey versus D Dot, Soundtrack versus Cambo Slice, Ben Official versus Theory, and The Beats versus DJ Big Smooth. All right, I just slapped it together, so if there's any issues, I'm going to fix it real quick, but it should be straight.
All right, judges. I'm not going any further till we get this one cleared up first, man. So let's start with uh, let's start with Tony Smith. I got to give it to Phil. Man, I'm not gonna give this, uh, this card, but I'm gonna give it to the fingers. Yeah, actually, um, I'm, I'm just gonna go with Phil, man. Phil just can't get it, man. You know. In the last two beats, I was like kind of like going back and forth, but you know, both of the last two beats were amazing, but Phil pulled it out. Um, I'm going with the fingers, man. It's something about his energy, man, that's gra that grabs me. All right, Jay Clyde, man, it all falls on your shoulders, man. It all comes down yeah, to yeah. your vote. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, this is a, this is a, this was a great one. I mean, I, I felt like. The fingers came out with great energy, and he and he got the first back and forth, and then Phil came and got the second round, and then man, it's tough because uh, the fingers, the third beat you played, that was that was your best beat, and I was loving it. Is that that, that was that, that beat was crazy, but I gotta say, man, Phil brought it home on that last one. That, that's that's a that's a battle beat, and that's what I want to hear in these battles. That aggressive, just straight murder. So. I got to give it to Phil slightly, but, you know, uh, the fingers definitely held it down. Good All right, that's what's up, man. So that was the fingers versus Phil Real. Phil Real moving to round three. Up next, we got Soultronic versus Soul City. All right, here we go.
So, judges, let's start with DJ Ron G this time. I'ma go with Soul City. So. That's what's up. J. Clyde. Um, you know, Soul City is one of my favorites uh, consistently. I think, um, as Sean alluded to earlier, he, he's he's experimenting a little bit. So, he, you know, he kind of went out of space on me a little bit uh, in this one. So just slightly, I'm going to go with Soultronic this time. Yeah, um, I'm actually going to go with um, Soul City on this one. The one thing I say with Soul Tronic, um, I see so much potential in him and you, Soul. You know, and I would love for you to explore the Tronic side of your name. Like, I feel like you're getting branded because you 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 know you are Soul Tronic. You're you're trying to go for soul samples and do all of that stuff, and it's like expand your brand. Your, your name already says that. Just explain. Explore the chronic side, the experimental side of what you're doing, you know. And then for Soul City, he continues to keep pushing himself. You know what I mean? It's like a butterfly, you know, all up in the cocoon. You know, we don't always like understand what what's going on, but I just I'm inspired by what Soul City is doing, man. You know what I mean? Just continue to reinvent himself. You know, we wouldn't have, you know, I just call, I say, I love you, you know from Stevie Wonder without, you know, he didn't want to move away from very superstitious. So, a Stevie Wonder is a person who continues to reinvent himself. So, I, I, I go for that. So, say. That's what's up, man. That's a big compliment right there, man. Tony Smith. There, there you go. Good? There we go. I'm, um, man, that was, that was a great matchup right there. Um, just like Sean was saying, with our soul trying to, yeah, experiment with, you know, utilize that name because you got some good stuff going on there, you know, especially when you utilize the church, you know, the church sound, that's going to get everybody anyway because, you know, some of us are a bunch of sinners. So, but this particular one, I got to go with um, Soul City. Okay, so the battle of the souls here. Um, you know, I, I would say with Soultronic, your beats were all the beats were smooth and they were good but for me personally i just didn't feel the like aggressiveness or like i don't know um like so uh, when i heard soul city like that first one yeah it just had this eerie vibe to it that is something that you would bring to a battle to me like it's just um i liked what he was doing how he was experimenting and he was just doing different things and kind of how I echoed earlier, you know, when we're going through these battles, that's sometimes something you got to do to stick out, just to really put yourself there. So I, I went with Soul City on this one. Soul City's taking that one. Unanimous. Up next, Kelsey versus D Dot. Just gonna get right into it. It's a Sunday. Y'all don't go to church. So we gonna take you to church. 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 <laughs>
That sound good, don't it? Good, don't it? What's up, man? So that was Kelsey versus Z Dot. Judges. Let's start with uh, let's start with Zach this time. Auction House Beats. Oh, we need overtime. Oh man, this one, this one, this one killed me to like judge. Like, okay, I mean, it's as we said, both, both, both you guys are good. Uh, man, Kelsey, I would say. The thing with Kelsey is I know what to expect. I know everything that you're bringing is going to be heat. And to me, it was almost like the issue I have is like I expect that trick and it keeps coming. And then D dot, I would say yours was just stuff that was just catching me off guard. Um, I, I like the first beat, the last one. The second one, I was just like could have been angrier. I felt with the setup with it. Um, I feel like Jake Pice on the left and two, I saw it too. Um, but so I think this one was really, really hard for me, but for the sake of difference and just not being that same thing, I'm gonna go with uh we're gonna go D dot on this one. I'm gonna throw that out. Wow. Super <laughs> hard, bro. Um the thing is if, you know, even though Kelsey and I you know, we run together, um you know, for a couple of years, I had mentored, you know, been mentoring him and stuff like that. And the one thing I've seen him in situations where people have judged him and said, you know, you're too extra with it. You need to leave room for people to, to rap and sing. And I see he's really taking that to heart and almost like pulled himself back to be too much in these situations where it was like the songs were perfect for someone to rap to, sing to, do whatever. But it needed that extra, that the extra, it just was stand there and be by itself, you know. And that's the thing that D Dot brought, which was the musicality. Now, to me, D Dot in the situations of, you know, it's almost too pretty. Like I would like to see D Dot really experiment with his music because clearly he's a, he's a great musician. You know, everyone in the scene would know that. You know what I mean? Oh man, let me tell you, man, Kelsey got that heat. But something about D Dot, man, let me tell you. That that last beat, did he do over I'm Leaving You Again by New Edition of Bobby Brown? Oh man. You know, I'm an RB head. <laughs> I just think that he just he just he just took that to another level, man, my opinion. So I give it to D Dot. That's what's up, man. I guess D Dot's taking this one. Jay Clyde. Yeah, I mean, this this is a crazy battle. Um, you know, two two of my favorites for sure. I would echo what uh what 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 Sean said um for sure in terms of uh D Dot, you know, uh getting a little more dirty, experimental with it, a little bit more loose with it. Um be you know, be careful with like on the gospel joint, um, some of the drum programming. Just make sure you're doing stuff that a normal could do when you're programming. But I mean, that's a small little nitpick, so <laughs> don't get caught up on that. If I could have, if I could have D Dot's musicality with Kelsey's drums, man, like that'd be the craziest thing ever. But um, on this particular battle, I had to go with D Dot, um, just just by a slight edge, to, just to like I said, um, Sean pretty much. Sean pretty much uh, summarized it well. Tom, we D-dot. can't even hear you. Go ahead. D dot. Oh, okay. So there you go, man. Unanimous. So D dot's moving forward. Up next, we got soundtrack versus Cambo Slice. Friday's 
what's up, man? So that was Soundtrack versus Cambo Slice. Judges, That's talk hard. to me, man. Let's start with DJ Ron G this time. Oh, man. Well, I'm going to tell you, man. Um, Soundtrack has some creative energy, right? But Cambo Slice made me feel like I was on, I was in a movie. <laughs> it's just, his energy was just so, like, different. So I'm going to say... Uh, I'm gonna say Cam Cambo Slice. Yo, yo. Man, that was a tough one right there. Yeah, it was tough. God dang. And the fact that I'm gonna say both of them brought something different to the table, but then both of them had you nodding your head. I mean, we gotta pick a winner. I'm going soundtrack. Yo, man, this, uh, this was interesting because it kind of reminds me of like the NBA Finals that's going on right now. Like, to me, soundtrack is like, like kind of like the Lakers, like super talented. We all know where he's coming from. He's dangerous, the threat. And I thought it was going to be sort of overmatched, but man, like Cam, Cam, like brought it. Like he, he impressed me with every joint that he played, and he he just wouldn't go away. Like every time I thought soundtrack, oh my god, soundtrack just smashed it. Cam came back with with something that was, you know, he he was he was throwing haymakers, man. So big up to Cam. I do think though, in the end, um, you know, soundtrack is probably on a, a just a like a higher level right now. So I, I'm gonna give the nod to soundtrack, but man, and very impressive performance from Cam. So big, big up to him. That's what's up, Zach. So uh, yeah, this one again. Like if anybody was watching, I just threw up my hands. I was like, I, I definitely gotta say I applaud the creativity for soundtrack. Um, that was like the things that you were doing were definitely like next level and stuff that you're just not hearing. But then the problem was Campbell's eyes was just pounding you back, man. Like he came at you like a heavyweight fighter. He lived up to the name, is what I can say. Um, so for me, I'm gonna have to go with the Campbell for this for Campbell Slice. Just something about the beats there were a little bit more aggressive. All right, Sean, it's all tied up, man comes down to you wow yeah the one thing um cambo actually i met him through a recent event that you all did you know i, I never had heard of his stuff and to me he's like one of the guys the one of the best producers i've seen recently that you know me getting to know um and he's definitely one of the best simple loop producers almost like like he could be like griselda camp producer you know what i mean just hard just just right in the pocket something a little different that they need um soundtrack is like the producer you know me being an og and you know getting back into doing more production he's the producer I actually technically want to be you know what i mean constantly experimenting constantly just you don't know where he's going to come from like that's my general mo so between soul city and soundtracks and sean all these s's man you know what i mean I'm, just, I'm feeling the S's right now, bro. I'm going to have to go with Soundtracks. And All right, that's what's up. So Soundtracks taking that one. Up next, Beneficial versus Theory.
All right, that's what's up, man. Shout out to Bad Human Art House. That was beneficial versus theory. Judges, let's start with uh, let's start with Jay Clyde this time. Yo, man, I think to me that was like my favorite battle so far. Like it definitely surprised me. I wasn't familiar with uh, with with beneficial until today. Um, and man, like part of the thing that I like about how these battles are laid out is like even if you don't necessarily make the best impression like in the first go around you have an opportunity to show more of who you are like as the battles go on right and dude like ben made me go back and check my notes like what did i say about this guy in the first like i thought he was kind of like middle of the road and like man he 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 brought some heat i really was digging the first the first two joints that he played i mean had like incredible bounce like reminded me of like some old like goody mob like different type of stuff um, the second one he played was like some classic like G unit um, young buck type of stuff that was just crazy. Um, I thought uh, Theory definitely took the third round with that with that with those uh, that kind of gospel soul chop. But in the end, I, I had to give it to Beneficial. I'm gonna go with Beneficial. He just got that that energy. He brung it. Yeah, man. The thing what I love about the particular battle is. They, it's like choosing between my two fingers. Both have unique fingerprints on it. You know what I mean? And it's like <laughs> hearing them, I'm like, which finger do I like better? You know what I mean? It's like I literally felt it was like super close, man. Um, though I'm gonna actually only because I'm only gonna go by last beat because I had them tied the whole time. Loving both. I'm just gonna go with theory because I just love that chop. You know what I mean? So let's go. Yeah, so uh, I, I would say it was uh, it was definitely it was a tough one and a good one for me too. Um, battle uh, song for song, I would say I had them like almost split, but I've uh, I'm not really a Pittsburgh person, but uh, I'm a big Ben fan for this one. Beneficial, we're gonna roll with, and a cat apparently likes him. All right, so I guess Ben is taking this one, but I still want to hear what Tone has to say. Well, for me, it was an actual tie. It was an actual tie, but yet, like Sean said, we're going to go with that that last beat. At least we know Theory had that beat that we've been using as our theme song for the music of the productions of um, Beat Conductors. Theory pulled it out on that one. But it was a tie, technically. All right, that's what's up, man. So Ben takes that one. You're right, it was a tie. And, and to be honest... Both of these producers, they work on the same team, man. They're both bad human art house. Um, so that's why their sounds are very similar, too, man. I think Ben has learned a lot from theory, to tell you the truth. Uh, but, all right, so this is a situation where the student beats the master. So let's go, man. Up next, the beats versus DJ Big Smooth. Here we go. The beats! <laughs> If you want this smoke, you want this smoke, you want this I got the ashtray. I got the ashtray. I got the ashtray. I got
right, it was all right, you know what I'm saying? It was all right, it was cool. But my shit is more John Blaze than that. The beat! The Played that joint, I was like, dude, like, you realize I got like at least 10 of those. Because like when he played it, I was like, this is where he wants to go. I was like, alright, so we can go there. You know? That's what's up, man. So that is the end of round two. That was the Beats versus DJ Big Smooth. 
Judges, we just need to know who's moving forward. Let's start with DJ Ron G this time. The Beats! The Beats! The Beats! <laughs> the okay. Beats, he just brought good energy. I like how he had them, them, the words and the beats and all that. That was dope and creative. Um, I'm actually going with the beats on this one. Definitely like the, the progression he's he's doing. Um, big Smooth, I'm a huge fan of his, man. I just think that he, to me, he's he's has the ability to do pop stuff, man, and just really be out of here. He probably has one of the most possibilities, the biggest possibilities of us, you know what I mean, to do big stuff. So, But the beats on this one. Yeah, um, I'm going with I'm going with the beats on this one as well. He really he really uh, he brought that battle energy, you know, um, and 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 put some thought into it, you know, with the with the vocal samples and everything. So I was definitely digging that. All right, that was a tough one. Um, like I said, we even the dogs are sitting there saying, you know, who they voting for and everything. You can hear them back there, you know, beats, beats. You can hear them back. You hear them. Big dog, big. Dog, big dog. You hear him back there? But I'm just They're saying with big, <laughs> with big smooth. I mean, big smooth, man. I think with big smooth being through all these battles, man, we watch big smooth go through about three different styles, and I'm very impressed by every style that he has conquered. And yo, big ups to big smooth, yo. I'm loving every style that you come out there to tap onto. Yo, keep doing your thing. Yep. I would say again, this was another one of those battles where it was just like tit for tat. You each are good. You each have your own thing that you're bringing to the table. Super dope with the vocal stuff. Um, but for me, I really liked DJ Big Smooth. I really liked, um, especially what he did with the arrangement and how, you know, I, I think both of you did a good job with the arrangements, but keeping it interesting, having transitions, you know, it seemed like every eight to 16 bars or whatever. But yeah, I'm going with uh, DJ Big Smooth on this one. All right, cool. So the beats did take it, still. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're right. I mean, DJ Big Smooth is still one of my favorite producers as well. The beats has been on vacation, but he came back with some fire, man. So I'm happy he did that. Um, while we were talking, I actually put this next round together so i'm gonna just jump right into it all right i don't want to waste any time let me just go down the matches actually for round three it's gonna be it's dope matches actually man phil real versus soul city d dot professor versus soundtrack and beneficial versus the beats all right we're gonna start with phil real versus soul city in this round they're playing two beats uh 60 seconds here we go.
What's up, man? So that was Phil Real versus Soul City. <clears throat> Judges, only one of these two can move forward to the final. So let's start with uh, let's start with Tony Smith this time. Really? Wow! Yo, yo, Phil, Soul City, good God Almighty! Great battle. Great battle, and it was like the they both competed with each other, and it's like wow. In this particular case, I mean, I have to give it to my favorite. Everybody know Ponytail is my favorite. Everybody know that. Yeah, that I gotta give Phil. Phil, thank you. Yo, you have been working. You have been working, Phil. Yo, I hear it. Thank you for that. You put my favorite person on the line. You challenged him. Y'all were beat for beat. Thank you, Phil. Soul City, you got it. Oh, man. Uh, dude, I got to echo what Tony said. This shit was hard. Uh, but same thing I said, man. I just, uh, one of the beats in there just happened. Just like, uh, I'm going to go with Phil on this one, man. Uh, Soul was obviously close second, but like it's, it was a tough one, but beat for beat right there. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to fill on this one. Guys, right, tied up right now. Sean. Oh, gosh. Man, I mean, look, going into this, you know, Soul City just has had like an amazing day, man. You know what I mean? And, um, but it's interesting, Phil Real's second beat was actually my favorite beat of the day. It was just to the point. It had some catchy sound and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna have to go with my gut and say, Phil, man, you know, Phil Real. All right, DJ Ron G. Woo, that was a tough battle, man. I'm gonna tell you, tough one, tough one. But I'm gonna go with Phil. I'm gonna tell you that right now. He came out the box on that one. He, he killed him. That's what's up. Great, he got great energy. All right, cool. Jay Clyde. You know, it's kind of uh, amazing how this battle came together because I feel like, um, you know, Sean kind of alluded to it, but I feel like both of these guys are sort of like experimenting at the same time and breaking out of their normal uh, their, their normal sounds at the same time. And I think we kind of heard that, like, with, with especially with... Um, with Soul City's, well, Soul City, everything he's been playing today is sort of like different. And then Phil's second beat, I felt was right there, like kind of that, that outer space, like really, but like I say outer space, like it's a bad thing, but nah, these guys are like trying new stuff. The progressions are crazy. Like the, the synth choices and everything are really nice. So um, big up to both of them. I got, these are two of my favorites. Y'all know that um, from every time we do a battle. And this one, I got to go with, by a hair, I'm gonna go Soul City. All right, so Phil Real still takes it three to two. Up next, we got D Dot versus Soundtrack. Yeah, that sound good, don't it? Good, don't it?
good, don't it? Good, don't it? That was a tough match right there, man. Yeah, tough one. Let's start this time with Jay Clyde. Yeah, that was fire. I mean, obviously, obviously, both these guys are really gifted, and uh, you know, we're, we're glad to have them in the competition. Um, you know, I just wrote in the comments: this battle is to me dirty versus clean, right? So. Um, D Dot, your sound is so like it's just clean, man. Like the musicianship is amazing. Um, you, I think you have a great ear for for samples and arrangement. But and uh, and 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 your that first joint that you played, that's radio ready right now. Um, but in a situation like this, I'm gonna go with the dirty every time if it's if it's uh, equal skills and. The soundtrack just that i mean that sunshine flip i've heard that flip from like some of your favorite producers like legendary dudes and that roy ayers flip is probably like that's the best one i've ever heard um so i gotta go with soundtrack on that Woo! all right well i got i got some things to say uh d dot that first joint oh man i felt like crying when i heard that <laughs> Um, but then you know, the, I, I think that if he would have stayed somewhere around there, maybe it would have been good. It would have been good. But to me, soundtrack like you know, I like like what uh, J. Clyde was saying is that that my life was that my life, right? Everybody yeah, loves that, sunshine. That, yeah, yeah. Everybody loves sunshine. I don't know why I keep, I'm thinking of Mary J. Blige. Um, that sunshine flip, I heard just like what Clyde was saying, I heard so many people flip that, but the way he did it was like, was like Dr. Dre teamed up with Q-Tip. <laughs> it was just Illmatic, so I got to give it to the soundtrack. It's just, he just did some whole other stuff, man. His vibe is nuts. Yeah, I mean, these two guys, their musicality is crazy. Um, Keep it simple, man. I'm, I'm just gonna go with uh, the soundtrack just because of just the 
the feel of it, you know, like D Dot, his playing is just, you know, it, it's amazing that, you know, I want to hear him just push his bound, you know, to do just it's a little bit grimier. When I first heard it from your stuff, I heard some grimy stuff from him. So, you know, not that everything has to be grimy, but that's the mode I'm in. So I'm going to go with soundtracks. All right, so soundtrack's taking this match. Zach, what you got to say about this one, man? I was going to agree with everyone else, really. Um, I felt D-Dot had, he came with some hot stuff, but like, it was uh, very lighthearted, and, and, and it just, it, it wasn't as gritty. And so, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with soundtrack on this one. Yo, I'm going I'm going with soundtrack on this, but what I want to say about with D Dot, I'm glad that I got to watch that other battle that was going on because it gave me the opportunity to meet up with uh to see D Dot and also Cambo. To see like to see and hear those two, it made me realize that there's gonna be competition to come whatever beat battle that goes on because Cambo and D Dot just those two alone when i heard them it just made me just realize like yo people are paying attention there are other type of producers out there that got that like like clyde said you know that dirty and that clean sound and everything yet fortunate enough soundtrack had that clean sound and it was dirty at the same time for me so they gave it the win-win but yet d dot yo thank you yo thank you for participating with the beat conductors yo all right, so that's what's up, man. Soundtrack is going to round three. Or my bad, to round four. All right, so let's just go. Let's get into the last match of round three. Uh, it's going to be Beneficial versus The Beats. All right, here we go.
Alright, that's what's up, man. So that was the end of round three. That was beneficial versus the round beat. Round four, right? That was the end of round three. That's round four? That was round three. Oh. Yeah, we're going into round four. Round four is the last round. Um, so let's just start. Hey, round G, let's start with you, man. Okay. okay. That, that was a tough one, man. That was a tough one. Oh man, that was a definitely a tough one. I like beneficial though. You know, I really like beneficial beats. But um the beats, I think, is something about his programming that is just so crazy. So I'ma go with the beats. Alright, that's what's up. Is it me, right? Is it me or the beats? He just have like a a 2025 Dr. Dre sound. Is it me or do he got that sound? Nah, like, you're right. <laughs> he got that sound like Dre need to put him on staff. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that I was just like, whoa. Yeah. Go ahead, Zach. Go ahead, Zach. Go ahead, Zach. Nice. Uh, but I just said, go, hold on. Right. Yeah, I, I was just saying, man, I'm just saying your beats are dope, man, but like the beats, I, I, I think that was, you just kind of took that round for me. Uh, I think that was definitely, for me, I, I was my favorite round, and I liked that last beat a lot. That was my favorite beat by him so far, so I got the beats on this one. All right. Yo, that was a good round right there. Yo, good to hear Beneficial. And also the beats together. Yet, I'm going to get around to the beats. Yet, at the same time, it was really good to hear Beneficial. I mean, because the sequencing and just the way that he had the programming, everything set, it was like really nice to just hear the transitions. So, but at the same time, it was a good battle for the beats. Because just like this, you know, just like Ron said, you know, Dre need to go ahead and cut the check. <laughs> True story. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, so the beats is taking this one. Sean, what you got to say, man? Yeah, I was gonna say, man, beneficial. The second beat, he had the potential to have like one of the best beats, of, at least the second best beat of the day with that sound. It's like a toy chime kind of thing or whatever. You just let it sit in the pocket too long. You should have done on like the third and fourth bar. You should have pitched it up, like changed the sound, same sound, but you couldn't have like killed it with that. Just broke us out of that. You know what I mean? You tried to do it with the saxophone, but it was already too late. It stayed, something that was good turned okay because it stayed in the pocket too long. But amazing, um, I have to go with the beats. Uh, the beats has just such, he has such a killer instinct when it comes to like how he kind of, you know, gets you the hook in your mouth and then yanks you in like a fish get you in the boat you know what i mean so gotta go with the beats 
All right, that's what's up. Jay Clyde. I was going to say the exact same thing that Sean just said about um, beneficial second beat. That definitely caught my attention when it first dropped, but then it, you know, kind of got a little little repetitive and just needed just needed some more um some more layers to it some more variety um but but i gotta say man beneficial showed out today i was really impressed with with everything he brought to the table and um look forward to seeing him in 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 future battles if you if you ever see me i got my pad here and you ever see me writing down notes and then i just and i just lean back like this that means we have a winner and I don't need to write anything else down. And I did right when on that last beat that the beats played after that drum fill when it dropped, I said I did the, I did that. Well, okay, this is this is a rap now, so the, the beats got that one. Alright, that's what's up. So there you go, man. In round four, we will have Phil Real uh, soundtrack and the beats. The winner of this battle gets a free seat in our Tournament of Champions, which is our annual royalty-free battle. This is going to be our ninth uh, annual royalty-free. We're going into our 10th year, actually, man. So this is a big one. Um, The winner gets a free seat in that battle. They get um, a little prize pack from the Beat Conductors. They're getting something from Joe's Record Paradise. They're getting some records. Uh, I don't know, they're getting some other stuff too. Oh, they're getting some stuff from Thicker Clouds. I, I think he's got, he might even have some weed for them. I don't even know, man. You know, weed is legal now in a lot of states, so my man uh, Sid from Thicker Clouds has something for them. But anyways, um, let's go into round four, man. I got this battle ready, and what we're gonna do is we're, uh, all three producers are gonna play three beats each, one minute each. And no, my bad. They're actually, I think it's 90 seconds each. Three beats, 90 seconds each. All right. And judges, you just got to come up with one winner here. All right. Here we go.
Stop <laughs> this. Turn it off. Crazy, dangerous, I mean, bust your shit open beats, you know what I mean?
not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. Your next stop, the Twilight Zone.
So that's it. That was the last round right there. I just want to give a quick shout out to all the competitors tonight because everybody played dope beats. Everyone stepped it up. Uh, nobody was really slacking tonight, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to all the producers tonight. Um, but this is it, man. Round four, that was Phil Real, soundtrack in the beats. Judges, let's see who's taking this home tonight, man. That was a tough round, man, you know what I'm saying? There was a lot of music played, a lot of different sounds played. It seems like they all kind of, uh, they didn't stay in their lane for that last round, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they were versatile in that last round. So I let's talk, say, man. man. Like, obviously, it's gonna be tough. You just play like six beats, and they're all good beats, and they're all in the finals. Like, uh, but for me personally, I just felt that all three beats that were brought by the beats were, I mean, they were just on point for me. Uh, I mean, Phil Real definitely also brought the heat. And I mean, it, it's just, it's hard to really say anything that hasn't been said or isn't going to be said. So, I mean, really, like I said, for me, it was just, uh, I thought that the beats, all three of them, landed with me, whereas uh, the other two, it was just, you guys only had like two beats that I really liked. Like, oh, I like this one, you know. Um, but it, it was all fire across the board, but I'm going to go the beats. Wow. Um, I mean, that's what the finals brings, you know what I mean? It's, and the thing that's, even though it's pre-submitted, uh, it's like they definitely held the right beat for the end, you know, uh, to go against each other. Uh, man, this one is hard, bro. Um, I'm just going to have to go with my gut, man. It just, the, the one that just resonates with me personally, I'm going to have to go with soundtrack on it. I mean, uh. I was feeling that soundtrack, that beat that he did. Uh, what was that? That UFO? Uh, what Twilight. was that joint? Yeah, Twilight, Twilight Zone. <laughs> <laughs> that was because you know I'm a Twilight Zone fan. But um, he like like what Zach was saying. He didn't have all three of the beats that was hot. You know what I mean to me. So I gotta give it to. Uh, let me check my notes again. I got to give it to The Beats. All right, that's I what's up, man. Beat, he, he brung it with all three all three times. He brung it. So The Beats, to me, he killed it. Yeah, um, I have to say um, The Beats was really impressive today. All, all, by, all throughout all the rounds. Um, I wasn't too familiar with them before today. So, man, um, really impressive. Especially, you know, he, he brought it when it counted. Um, you know, in the later rounds. Um, to me, like, so much of being a good, like, producer in a battle is about your choices that you make of stuff to play. And if you look, everybody in here can flip samples really well. So you kind of need to up the difficulty and try to flip things that are familiar that can really get a reaction. And when you do something with the Twilight Zone like soundtrack did, I mean, who else? Who um, that, that's the that's a pretty high bar for anybody else to to, to touch, man. And um, the other guys brought it, but I gotta go with soundtrack. All right, so as of right now, it's tied up. The beats and soundtrack looks like Phil. He can't make it in this one. Shout out to Phil Real, man. He's one of my favorites, and he's grown a lot. But as of right now, it's between soundtrack and the beats. Tone. Phil definitely brought it on this one and everything. Like, Phil, y'all, it was a pleasure to sit back and watch you really grow through all the whole process and everything. You've always been up in the finals, you know what I'm saying? And with soundtrack, I'm so thankful to have, like, new, fresh, fresh tones that come out. Because, like I said, when he flipped that Twilight Zone, it was like, good God of mine. You know, that that was very impressive. Yet, for me, the winner of this one, I got to say, welcome back, Beach. Did it. You stayed away for a minute to work on your craft, and it actually shows of you taking that time out to come back and win this one again. Like, people don't even know who you are, and you come back to win this battle. So, congratulations. 
That's what's up, man. So you just heard it. The Beats. So that's what's up, man. Shout out to the Beats. He is a monster, yo. He's, he doesn't, he didn't come to play around, man. He came to win. So big shout out. I want to give another shout out to all the judges. Um, again, my name is DJ Olo. This is the Beat Conductor. Blitz Beats in Life. Auction House Beats. The James Dew at Yancey Foundation. Joe's Record Paradise. Thicker Clouds. Mood Clothing and Design. Also, The Real Scene Art. Drum Stacks. And Bad Human Art House. Present. The Beat Conductor's Coast to Coast Battle.